As a simple argument between O'Malley and Coach Avina quickly escalated to what was known as a hockey tournament. Students gathered around creating teams ready to end teachers' dictatorship in Northtown. The winners of the hockey team will attain glory, pride, integrity, and most important, heroes to all the students at Northtown. A band of Hispanics soon gathered from all around Northtown and formed Los Essays, the notorious hockey team in Northtown. O'Malley tried to say that he had a better hockey team than most of the Northtown students. I disagreed. So me and Los Essays get together and try to prove O'Malley wrong, that he's not the best. The hockey season was a joke to most of the students at Northtown at first. No one really took it serious, except for the players. For them, it was a fight of glory inside the school. This puck bounces in the net. It's Patrick Kane's goal. Wow. And it is 2-1. Oh, yeah, I remember them. Uh, those lucky bastards, we almost had them one by one. Hispanics, they're not supposed to play hockey. First time we played, we all thought we were going to lose because we were just Hispanics. We we're unfamiliar with the rules. And Hispanics play soccer, not hockey. We kick a ball around, we didn't use a stick in the puck. Our first game was close, but we won it by one. It gave us hope to go on and win more. Our team morale increased and started to, and we started becoming more confident. Our first game gave us a boost to play more and to win more games. The next game, more members were interested to join those essays and, and we let them in, so we have an advantage. Those essays were lucky all the time. We would score a goal and they would follow up. The team has no skills at all. All they knew how to do is kick the puck. They were just full of luck. Full of luck. Our second game came as a surprise. We won. The team got better, and but the players were playing dirty, so that gave us an advantage. The, the, the time ran out. And the opposite team lost. Oh, bad day. I think it was going well that day. No one was sticking to any of the game plans. Our players were playing really bad. The teachers were making bad calls. It was just, it was horrible. The teacher goalie was replaced, so now they had a better shot at, uh, at not scoring. Anything they can resume, they'll try on Wednesday. But a large win for Detroit. Oh, the reason I got mad, well, the reason was simple. They, the teachers just shut us down. It was the worst game I've ever been a part of. Worst game I've ever coached. I wish that would never ever happen again. It's crazy. Dave Sheldon with the call. Oh, it's the thrill of one more kill. The last one to find. Sacrifice their will. Don't ever look back on the world closing in. Be 